Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a new plugin that I have developed uh, for Grasshopper. And it's basically a mini uh, CAM software uh, which can generate CNC or robotic toolpad for milling the, the objects from um, planar sheets. Now, this plugin is called Woodby. And the reason behind naming is that this plugin was developed alongside with another plugin, which is called Biba, uh, in the as a, as a research project uh, in the area of digital fabrication with wood material, and therefore um, the focus was on uh, the milling objects from wood. However, it's now possible to tune the parameters and use this software. Uh, for milling any other material because there are so many parameters in creating toolpad. Typically a CAM software is a very complex software. My aim here was to simplify this um, workflow as much as possible and in the same time I'll keep those parameters for advanced user so they can tweak them into their needs. In this video I'm going to just show you the whole picture and the structure of the plugin and the workflow. And in the future videos, we're going to go through different examples and how we basically build different components of Woodby in order to create either G code or robotic tool pads. What you see here in, in my Rhino Grasshopper is an example of. Um, creating robotic toolpad using Whitby. By the way, I'm using um, KUKA PRC for simulation. But apart from robotic simulation, everything else is all Whitby or Grasshopper native components. Uh, what I have here is, is six different parts that I laid down. This is actually created using uh, my other plugin, Biba. And if you want to know more about it, I will drop a link in the description. And these are um, all solid geometries. So very important point is that you have to start with closed solid. So if I choose these, uh, you can see that these are closed solid. And also another important uh, property that they share is that they all can be milled from a planar sheet. So they are planar and they're all having the same thickness if they are supposed to mill from the same material. What Woodby does is that takes the geometries, the solid geometries as a input, and then based on a tool that you define, automatically detects the features which have to be milled out of the sheet. And these operations uh, which are created for each feature are categorized in two main category, um, which is called rough and fine milling. And then the operations will be converted to a toolpad, which is specific to would be, meaning that is an abstract toolpad and it has to be post process in order for a particular machine to run this. Currently in this file, what I have as a post processor is um, a post processor that converts the would be toolpad to KUKA PRC commands. And KUKA PRC commands are then passed to the KUKA PRC core for simulation and as well for exporting the SRC file. So in general, we have um, we have to take three main steps before we actually export our G-code. And we're going to talk about each one in detail in the future videos. So please stay tuned and thanks for watching.